Hey guys, it's Abby from Autumn of Pelinor and today I'm doing the social media book tag. Question one is Twitter. Um, it's what your what is your favourite shortest book? And for me, this whole kind of selection of the My Story books, they are kids books um, and they are written like a diary from the perspective of someone in a certain time period. So this one is from The Blitz, so this is about a young girl on The Blitz. Obviously I'm going to pick this one up. But I also have ones from Pompeii, from Ancient Egypt, um, from Tudor times, from males perspectives on the front line in the trenches, on the Titanic, and they're just really interesting and a brilliant way to teach kids about history and I absolutely loved them as a child and I refused to ever get rid of them. <laughs> They're also really pretty covers. Question number two is Facebook. What's a book that everyone pressured you into reading? And for me that is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Everyone has like gone on and on about this series and I'd never picked it up um, and it was a case of oh my god you've not read it you have to pick it up. So eventually I ended up getting the box set when it was on sale in the works. Um, and I've only read the first book so far. In terms of my thoughts on it, I enjoyed it, but it's not exactly a well-written piece of literature. Like, it was a very enjoyable reading experience, but the actual writing itself isn't great. So I'll carry on the rest of them, and fingers crossed I'll enjoy all of them. But yeah, it's a weird experience knowing that the writing style is like, meh, but I'm enjoying the experience of it. So, hopefully I enjoy the next how many? Five books. <laughs> They're up on that shelf over there. Question number three is Tumblr. What's a book that you read before it became cool? And I'm really struggling to find a book for this because the books that I read that like aren't popular don't tend to become popular even though I really love them. They don't tend to be incredibly well known by like the booktube community. So I can't find anything because all the other ones are ones that have been recommended to me by people and I wasn't in the booktube community at the time but looking back they were popular then. No one, other than my mum buying it and being like meh you might like this, no one was like oh you should read this and I just became obsessed with it of my own accord. So I guess I'll say this one, it's also not even like that cool, like it's not still a popular one, it's a bit of an older booktube favourite so yeah. This is the best you're getting from me for this question. Question four is MySpace, a book you don't remember whether you liked it or not. And for me, that is Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. Um, no, like, hate on Sarah Dessen at all. I know I've read this book, but I have absolutely no clue what it's about, whether I enjoyed it, when I read it. I, I know vaguely how old I was when I read it, but I just, for some reason, this book didn't stay in my head. So I'm gonna have to try and reread it at some point. Um, but yes, so I assumed I kind of liked it, but maybe I hated it, I don't know. So a book that I don't remember how I felt about it. Question five is a book so beautiful that you had to Instagram it. And I have a few different answers for this um, based on different things. So this book I picked up purely because of the cover. I wasn't too interested in what was inside, but like, it's it's stunning and it's beautiful. Ironically, these are all hardbacks and I, all pre I prefer paperbacks. So this is just weird, but <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful. I love the cover and I ended up giving this, I think, five stars. I absolutely loved it. It was an amazing book. Um, but then this book, I mean, the cover's nice, and then I loved the insides and it just made me love the cover even more. So I also had to Instagram it. And then the last one that I have to show for this category, even though it's meant to be one book, is The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz. Um, this, like the cover's nice enough um, and it's got this little silk bookmark. But if you've read this book, you understand like why I love how they've packaged it. And so like I had to Instagram it but it's not like the cover itself, like the cover's nice enough but it's the story inside and how it links to the packaging so yeah <laughs> that's my answer for all of those books so because I didn't say the names of them First Fifteen Lives of Harry August by Claire North which is a pseudonym and The Universe vs Alex Wood by Gavin Extance 
I've never said his name out loud. <laughs> For question six, it's YouTube, a book that I wish would be turned into a movie. And for me, it is I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You by Ali Carter. Um, and it's just the whole Gal Gallagher Academy series. The Gallagher Girls are an amazing series of six books about girl spies in like a spy school and they're just so fun, so like, oh, I just, I love Ali Carter's writing, I always have done, ever since I picked up this first book, so thank you to my friend Catherine for making me read this book. Um, as you can see, I read her copy of it, that's how I got into Ali Carter, and as you can see from the spine being all mauled, I've read this again multiple, multiple times. I just think it would be such a good did they even have YA films? I guess. Um, but it would be such a good YA film and I really don't understand why it's not been picked up yet because there's six books to go off, they're not huge, you could make it in like a fewer number of films um, to cover all of them because obviously they've managed to squish like really big books into smaller films. So I just, oh. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. If you've read any of the books or want to read any of the books that I've mentioned, please do leave a comment down below. I love chatting to you guys about it. And yes, thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.